ADMK, which was visibly unhappy with the remarks made by the Tamil Nadu BJP state president Tannamalai, today it has officially announced that they will be walking out of the alliance for 2024 elections. Earlier, we have seen several ADMK leaders, including Jay Kumar and CV Shenmugam, very clearly indicated that they will be walking out of the ADMK alliance. And we have seen the last ditching effort leaders from ADMK even met JP Nadda. And very interestingly, these ADMK leaders uh, who have left from Kochi and Bangalore met JP Nadda in Delhi recently and they expressed their unhappiness about Annamalai's recent remarks on Dravidian star walls. Even after ADMK taking up this issue with the National High Command, there was no action taken against BJP State President Annamalai and this is seen as an important reason for ADMK to walk out of the alliance. As soon as the decision was announced, we have seen the ADMK cadres were gathered in large number right outside the party office, uh, celebrated the party high command's decision. Now, we have to wait and watch whether this, the stand taken by the ADMK will continue or the equations will change close up to the elections. As far as BJP is concerned, even though the BJP is confident that they will be making impact in the upcoming elections, it has to be tested. For Alliance Dharma, the sanctity of the Alliance, we maintained our status quo. Despite Anamalai turning out to be a rabble rouser, he started commenting about our leaders, our founders. He started criticizing our ideologies. He even criticized our rally, which saw about more than 15 lakh people turning out. And it's a historic event. And multiple number of times, uh, we had even raised a resolution condemning his act and sent it to the High Command of BJP. It is BJP who needs AIADMK. It's not AIADMK needs BJP as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. And history is going to repeat. 2014, we swept. 2019, it was DMK. Tamil Nadu is a swing door policy state. And 2024, AIADMK is all set to rewrite history under the leadership of our leader, Edapadiyar.